You know, they say like there was a man and these are people who, who do not have the correct, the correct conviction in Allah. It is called the tawakkul ala Allah to have this conviction and trust in Allah that he will help you. So there were people in on an island and the island, they were, you know, lost in that island. And what happened is the helicopter comes and it comes, it finds them and there were four or five of them. So they decide, hey, help has come finally. And now they jump onto this helicopter besides one man. And he says, no, I'm waiting for the help of Allah. I'm waiting for the help of Allah. So they said, well, here it is. What are you talking about? The helicopters come. No, I want the help of Allah. So the helicopter went and this man, he, whatever happened to him happened. And it is reported that, you know what? Later on, when they rescued him and they asked him a question, that why is it that you did not jump onto that the first helicopter that had come? He says, I was waiting for the help of Allah. So they said to him, well, the help of Allah came in the form of a helicopter, but you did not jump onto it. Subhanallah. The moral of this whole story is we ask sometimes Allah to help us, help us, help us. Ya Allah, help me get to the masjid. But brother, you are still sleeping. Ya Allah, help me to get up for Fajr. But your clock is not set. Ya Allah, help me so that I don't you know, I don't feel the fast, but you did not engage in the suhoor that was there. Ya Allah, help me to understand the Quran, but you did not go to the masjid. Ya Allah, help me to read the Quran beautifully, but you don't even listen and you don't even make an effort. The moral of the story is make an effort and ask Allah's help. And that is when you will be able to achieve the help of Allah. The hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, Ista'in billahi wa la ta'jaz. Ihris ala ma yanfa'uka wa sta'in billah. Work hard towards achieving what is beneficial for you. Seek the help of Allah and do not be lazy. That sums it all up. Subhanallah. You want to learn the Quran? Work hard towards it. Ask the help of Allah. Do not be lazy. Without those three things, you are not going to be able to learn the Quran.